Alright guys, so we've got some kind of confirmation that Season 7 is going to deal with time travel. That kind of proves the possibility that the cliffhanger we've been promised on the finale of Season 6 is going to be probably about time travel, that the Chronicom story is starting the season but it's not finishing by the end of the season, where there are going to be repercussions to it. But first and foremost though, welcome back guys to another one of my Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Season 6 and Season 7 videos and today we're going to be talking a little bit of a theory video along with actual news that we've got. Now before I get started, I know a lot of people are going to be like, okay, time travel is the way to do things when you've got no story to tell, or you've got no actual resolution, a way to resolve a story. But the truth is, time travel so far within the Marvel Cinematic Universe, yes I know, Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. is not really at the moment or does not seem at the moment to be part of the Marvel Cinematic Universe. However, the producers of the series do claim they've got their own logic and that they are gonna probably end up addressing the snap at some point over the course of Season 7. So yeah, if it doesn't happen to be part of the Marvel Cinematic Universe at the moment, let's remember that Doctor Strange, Ant-Man and the Wasp and Avengers Endgame did introduce the concept of a greater multiverse, you know, the creation of new timelines. So the Marvel Cinematic Universe at this moment is creating itself a greater thing, a Marvel Cinematic Multiverse. But circling back though to the point I was trying to make over here, the Marvel Cinematic Universe, Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. for those who don't want to consider it part of the Marvel Cinematic Universe, none of them has used time travel in the conventional sense, you know, go to the past in order to change the future. Avengers Endgame just went to the past in order to bring about the tools that they could use in order to change the future. Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. only went to the future in order to fix their future, like they went to a distant future in order to come back to a future that they never lived and basically fix it, and their travel was not about bringing something back that would change the past, but rather about getting the information that they wouldn't have known beforehand. So yeah, time travel within the Marvel Universe is kind of different than what you watch on The Flash for example, you know, going to the past to change the past in order to get a different outcome in the future. The future over here is not really the future, but rather it is their present. They're never fixing their present but changing events about their past. But here though is all we've got about Season 7, all the hints that we've got that Season 7 is going to be all about time travel to a distant past from a piece of news. A report that CBR.com posted prior to the airing of Season 6, you know when Season 7 started filming, to a picture that got removed out of Instagram and finally to what's going on on Season 6 and the hint that was given by the producers during WonderCon back in April. Okay, so starting with the first one, back in April, or I think it might have been March, CBR.com posted this report that there is a possibility that FDR is going to be featured on Season 7 of Marvel's Ages of S.H.I.E.L.D. that they've got wind about FDR being part of the season. Now that means that Season 7 would be set in the 40s, early 40s as well. Now the only case it would be set out of the realm of the 40s or the early 40s, maybe late 40s, early 50s, is of course if we were talking this timeline is different than the timeline that we watched before than the main Marvel Cinematic Universe timeline as if the current timeline was created due to the changes that they made at the end of Season 5, like the way they saved it all and changed it as well. I mean in that case you would be in a little bit of the Man in the High Castle situation, you know things would be different, people who would be dead in the original timeline would not necessarily be dead in this timeline. It could be all about Hydra, it could be all about the Chronicoms trying to change time, it could be about both, I mean we're gonna get to know that when we get there. But in the end the one thing that came to my mind when I heard FDR when I thought 40s or even 50s is that we're gonna be seeing Agent Carter or some characters out of Agent Carter. We're going to talk about that in a moment though. Now that also brings us to the fact that during WonderCon back in April, the producers of Ages of S.H.I.E.L.D. did speak about the fact that one, this season is going to be its own contained arc that 13 episodes allowed them to fixate on one arc, work through it all the way to the end, but there's also two, the fact that by the end of the season we're going to get a cliffhanger that leads into season 7, knowing that they are renewed, kind of allowed them that. So when you think about it, in order to have a cliffhanger, you could have something out of the blue, something that we don't understand, aka what happened at the end of Season 5, you know, Phil Coulson seemingly in space, the thing that we realized in Season 5 was actually a destroyed Earth in the future. But there's always the possibility that the cliffhanger is going to be about something brewing in the background, something that we're going to get to see culminate into something else by the end of the season, and that's going to lead into that arc of the new season. And that thing in this case would be all about the Chronicoms. I mean, we do know that the Chronicoms did play a role this season. 
but their role was kind of threefold. You got one, the role of Enoch in helping Fitz, then helping Fitz and Simmons, all the way leading up to their return to Earth, meeting Isel on the way, and bringing her on the way with them to Earth. Two, there's the Chronicom role in hunting Fitz, hunting Simmons, getting Fitz and Simmons, trying to dig through their memories because of the Chronica 2 bit. You know, Chronica 2 has been destroyed by the Shrikes and then completely burned down by Sarge. So that's all about that arc as well. You know, letting us know that that footage we watched at the beginning of the season is all about Chronica 2. But then finally, there is three, the fact that they're trying at the moment to figure out time travel in order to save Chronica 2 to start with. So that's all about a side arc that's kind of brewing in the background. That third one is not about the arc of the season. The arc of the season is about defeating the creator, it's about defeating Izel, it's about possibly defeating Pachacutic by the end of the season, but it's not about the Chronicoms, it's not about saving Chronica 2. There's no time as well to kind of handle that by the end of the season. The cliffhanger, there's going to be about the stinger from the San Diego Comic-Con trailer, you know, Fitz and Simmons with Enoch in him telling them that this is going to be the hardest thing that they've ever had to do, which is probably going to be about time travel stopping the rest of the Chronicoms as in team bring back Chronica 2. But here though is the third and final one of these and it's pretty much a confirmation that we're getting time travel. Now, during San Diego Comic-Con, Chloe Bennett did speak about filming scenes with someone and she did speak of how letting out that name would be pretty much a spoiler revealing something about Season 7, so she did not end up going there. Now, there's the possibility that she's talking about someone other than the person I'm about to mention over here. It is possibly the Ghost Rider, it's possibly Bobby, it's possibly Hunter, but there's a photo that Ming-Na Wen posted on Instagram and then she removed it right away. That photo is all about two bikes on the set of Marvel's Ages of S.H.I.E.L.D. and the names of the two bikes on that photo were Ian DeCastacar who portrays Fitz and Inver Yokai. Now Inver Yokai is the actor who portrayed the role of Daniel Souza on Agent Carter. He was also in an extra role on The Avengers portraying a young cop but I think more at the moment that they're talking Daniel Souza. I mean, after having portrayed the role of Daniel Souza on Agent Carter, they're most probably not gonna bring him on Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., another Marvel television production, in the role of a young cop, an extra, out of the Avengers. So yeah, seeing that kind of photo does confirm that we're not only getting time travel on the upcoming season, but that we're also getting Daniel Souza on the upcoming season, which means we're getting some kind of legit Agent Carter, Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. crossover. Now I know the one possibility that we're all thinking about right now, are we just gonna see Daniel Souza, are we gonna see more, are we gonna see Agent Carter, maybe Jarvis, maybe even Howard Stark, I think all of those are possibilities. The one thing that's confirmed right now is Daniel Souza, not only confirmed from that photo, but it definitely does make a lot of sense. On another note, as confirmed during SDCC, Season 7 is gonna be the final season, so all I'm looking forward to is bringing back old characters, characters that we've missed for so long, like maybe Bobby and Hunter, definitely the Ghost Rider, if they don't already do that on the finale of this season, and we've already got some kind of confirmation that we're getting someone, if not more than one person, out of Agent Carter. I do think as well that it's a good thing that we might get one or more characters out of Agent Carter because that might hint towards the idea or might lead into the possibility that we get an Agent Carter revival. Do remember that we've been getting interviews with Hayley Atwell for more than a year now in which she always stated that she's willing to reprise her role in a reboot or a revival more or less of Agent Carter. So if that's a possibility that they continue the story that they left off at the end of season 2 of the series, I wouldn't mind at all. Before I end this though, I don't want to be a fanboy cheerleading just the appearance of characters, I want to say this. If the series does bring characters like Lance Hunter and Bobby Morse back to the screen after this long absence, I do hope it's in context, it's in the context of the story. I definitely don't want the final season of the series to try and go out with a bang by bringing back old characters that we haven't seen in so long while at the same time compromising the quality and integrity of the story because that would totally kill that bang. But yeah though, that's all I've got for now on this, so let me know in the comments how excited you are at the possibility. I want to say it's confirmation, but I'm going to go with 90% confirmed, 10% something that we don't understand yet, but hopefully fully confirmed. Let me know as well if you do think the Ghost Rider is going to make an appearance by the end of this season or sometime next season, and especially the dad would end up leading into his all-new TV series, his spin-off out of Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. and into his own Ghost Rider series. 
And do you hope to see Adrian Palicki and Nick Blood reprise their roles as Bobby Morse and Lance Hunter on the series on the final season? Do you think as well they will? Let me know as well if you did like this video by dropping it a much appreciated like, subscribing to this channel and make sure while you're at it to enable notifications in order to get updates whenever I upload a new video, publish a new community post or start a new live stream. But until the next time that you tune in for another one of my videos, Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. or otherwise, thank you so much for tuning in to this video and have a great day.